concept is on power supply. Electric power is the main source of supply for the operation of electronic components of a computer. Now, the electronic components of a computer need to work, it need to perform its operations. So, electric power is the main source of supply for the operation of electronic components of a computer. Therefore, continuous power supply has been essential for the computer to prevent them from failures, breakdown or shutdown. There are two types of power supply connected to a computer system. The first one is SMPS that is switch mode power supply and the second one is UPS uninterruptible power supply. Power supply and SMPS converts electrical current from an AC line circuit for electronic devices. So, the purpose of or the function of SMPS is to convert an electrical current from an AC line circuit for electronic devices. Now, this SMPS contains two factors one is power card plug and a fan for cooling because it generates a lot of heat. So, SMPS contains power card plug that is a power card plug and it, it also contains a fan for cooling because the SMPS it generates lots of heat. The second type of power supply is UPS and UPS is a power supply that allows the computer to keep running for a short time when the main power source goes off. So, when the main power supply goes off, we need to work with our computer. So, this UPS has been used so that it would allow your computer to work to run at least for a short period of time when the main power supply goes off. Now, this UPS it contains a battery. So, using this battery, the power will be maintained in the event of power failure. So, UPS contains a battery to maintain power in the event of power failure and UPS keeps a computer running for several minutes to few hours after a power failure. So, using this UPS you can start working with your computer at least for few hours during the power supply goes off. Now, there are two types of UPS online UPS and offline UPS. Online UPS the power supply is flowing through an inverter whether, uh, whether the main power supply is on or off. So, now your main power supply it might be on or it might be off, but the power supply will be flowing through an inverter in online UPS or in a new UPS it contains inverter. So, through that inverter the power supply will be flowing whether your main power supply is on or off. So, in this online UPS the inverter is on continuously. So, throughout your inverter will be on. So, the purpose of online UPS is the power supply will be flowing through an inverter whether the main power supply is on or off. The advantages of uh, online UPS is it gives good continuity of power supply and there is no user interaction. The user might not go and on the UPS as soon as the main power supply goes off the online UPS will start awning by itself and you will get the current. The disadvantages of online UPS is it is most costlier than offline UPS. Next is the offline UPS. So, offline UPS is also known as standby UPS. In this, the inverter does not remain in its on state as online UPS. Now, in online UPS, the inverter will be on continuously throughout it will be on whether if your power supply is off or on, but whereas in offline UPS the inverter will be in an off state when the main power supply is on. When you are having the main electric current, when you are having the main power supply is on, the in an offline UPS the inverter will be off. When the main power supply goes off, when the main current goes off, then the inverter will switch on. So, that is the purpose of offline UPS. So, in an offline UPS the inverter does not remain in its on state, it will switch to an on state only when the main power supply goes off. So, the advantages of offline UPS is it is less expensive and the disadvantages is it requires user interaction. User interaction is when the main power supply goes off, the user needs to go and on the inverter, then only you will get the trick power. So, uh, offline UPS is also known as standby UPS and the inverter will be in an off state when the electric current is on and inverter will be switching to its on state only when the power supply goes off. 
So, there are two types of UPS, online UPS and offline UPS. This topic of this chapter is standard configuration of personal computer. So, in a processor, the CPU used for this personal computer is Intel quad core desktop processor with 3.4 gigahertz and the motherboard is Intel ATX motherboard. I have told you all that ATX motherboard is the latest motherboard used. So, the motherboard used is Intel ATX motherboard. The RAM, the size of the RAM is 4 GB RAM and the type of RAM used is DDR3 SD RAM, double data rate 3, synchronous dynamic random access memory, hard disk. The size of the hard disk is 1 TB. The monitor is 21.5 inches, diagonal IPS widescreen, DVD is uh, RWS, Sony 54X super multi DVD writer, PC case with SMPS, mini tower cabinet with 500 watts SMPS. So, the type of uh, power supply used over here is SMPS, keyboard is multimedia USB keyboard and the speaker is HP USB powered compact speakers and the mouse uses Logitech USB optical mouse. So, this is the end of the first chapter electronic configuration of computer system. Thank you.